Today on Review This Thing, we're gonna get this Sako S20 Hunter sided in. This is Adrian with Review This Thing, and today we're really excited. We have this Sako S20 Hunter that we showed you the quick look a few weeks ago. We have this Burris Veracity PH scope on it. Never used one of those before either. Sako sent over some of their Powerhead blade ammo. This is their lead-free hunting ammo, so that's what we're gonna use to get it sighted in. I'm definitely interested to see how it does. If you watched any of our videos earlier this year, you know we did not have fantastic luck with copper ammo out of a couple of other guns. So hopefully, since this one is made by Sako, then it'll do really well out of their gun. Let's shoot it, see how she does. So we bore sighted our scope, and this is the first time I've shot it at all. We're really hoping it's close to the center of this target, and then we can go from there. Well, the Tactic Cam Spotter LR was not recording, but you can see Robbie ran down and put a red sticker over it. So we're gonna move it up several inches into the right several inches and see how it goes. So after that last shot, we did a little one shot zero, tried to move the center of the reticle to where the bullet hit. We're gonna take another shot and hopefully it'll be dead center. That would be fantastic. Let's see. It appears as though that worked. We're gonna shoot a few more rounds out of it just to make sure we get a pretty good group. We're also trying to collect some speed data so that we can get the scope all set up, get all the ballistic data correct so that then it's pretty easy to adjust. Next, what we have to do with this scope though is zero it to that zero. And then hopefully we're gonna do a video soon where we are just gonna dial it out to the ranges. We'll range our targets, dial it out, and hopefully it'll be zeroed in there too. We're gonna take a few more shots and make sure we're getting pretty good groups. So second shot, same ammo, those are touching. It looks like we're gonna to need to move it to the left just a little bit. I'm gonna shoot one more and make sure, and then we'll make that adjustment. Excellent. So. It's pretty awesome. Uh, like I said, this is the first shots we've done with this gun and we have a very good group. We'll do the Ballistic X and show you that, but that's pretty awesome. So we, so we moved the reticle to the left and down just a little bit. We're gonna shoot it again and make sure it's dead on zero. You may wanna subscribe so you don't miss it. We're gonna do a full review on this Burris Veracity Scope sometime in the next few months. And we'll talk a little bit more about everything that goes into that process, but we are zeroed right now. Theoretically, we're gonna shoot one more time. Hopefully we're dead on, and then we'll um, be ready to go. I think that'll do it. That's maybe a half inch high, maybe. Uh, I think we're pretty happy with that. So there you have it. That is our Sako S20 Hunter sighting in video. First thoughts. This thing is pretty sweet. That is uh, pretty impressive groups for the first shots out of a gun, 100 yards. And now I think we are ready to do a little bit more testing and take it hunting. Make sure you stay tuned. We are gonna review this gun. We're gonna review the scope. Very soon we're gonna do a test with the scope. So subscribe so you don't miss those. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, share it with your friends, comment and tell us what you think. If you have a Sako S20 Hunter, comment below and tell me what you think about it. What caliber, what bullets you shoot, it's gonna be fun. We appreciate you watching. Hey, thanks for watching our Sako Sighting In video. Go check out our website, reviewthisthingtv.com, subscribe to our newsletter. While you're here, like this video, comment, share it with your friends, subscribe if you haven't. Also, go check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok.